Tonight, we are actually going to review our very first October horror movie. Well, sort of horror movie. Sort of. And we have two more people here, almost as frightening as Vince and myself. My name is Brandon. Hi, my name is Brian. To help us review... Hotel Transylvania. You know, when I've seen this advertised, Vince... I really wanted to go see it. I thought it was going to be, you know, something great. Because it kind of, from the trailers, it kind of, for me, it looks like it was sort of going to be like a tribute to all of the horror icons of the past, like Dracula and Frankenstein and Wolfman and, you know, Visible Man and all these people. I thought it was going to be more of a tribute to these characters. Well, I can't say the same because I actually never saw a trailer for this. I never watched one trailer for this movie whatsoever. The only thing, the only reason I knew about it was because they had this great big uh, uh, prop poster thing right in the center of the movie theater I go to. And up to the point the day before I went to go see this, I had no idea that Adam Sandler was in this. And I got to tell you, Vince... I'm not an Adam Sandler fan. I mean, I just, I don't like any of his movies. I don't like his humor. I just don't like the guy. I like most of his movies. I, don't, I can't say I like them all. He's had some real stinkers. As much as, as much as he's had good films, he's had some really bad films. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I've been spoiled by Pixar. Because when you go see a Pixar movie, it's not just for kids. It's for everybody. I mean... It, when you go see a Pixar film, it's usually geared more toward adults than it actually is for kids. At least I think so. Yeah, I would agree with that. And this movie is not like that. It's generally geared mostly towards kids. Really childish in some ways, but it has a lot of humor in it. I mean, you had little jokes and everything about, you know, about the Wolfman, about Frankenstein, about Dracula, and... The mummy and everything, but all of it was really kid related, and I mean, I mean, they even went as far as like fart jokes and that. And see, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I was expecting a film that all adults could enjoy, and you know, which kids could still also enjoy. It didn't wow me. It didn't throw. I mean, I didn't come out of there going, "Man, that was just fantastic!" I can't. I would go back and see that in a heartbeat. And I did actually go see this in 3D. Did you see it in 3D? No. I w uh, no. I think you should save your money and not go see this movie in 3D because it doesn't really have that effect. It, it's just a plain comedy. You'll Your kids will love it without the 3D. And the 3D effects are, you know, just like every 3D movie that comes out now, they're okay. There's nothing that pops out at you at the screen. It's 3D. You know, it's not worth your extra forty dollars in your glasses. But overall, the the film itself, I have to say, it wasn't bad. It was cute. It had it has its cute moments, and I guess for an Adam Sandler film, it it it's one of his better ones. It wasn't terrible. I mean, I enjoyed the film. I I didn't come out thinking it was horrible. It just wasn't what I was expecting, I guess. It's definitely geared toward kids, so I rec recommend kids and families going to see it. It's a good film. It's a nice film, it's, but if you're expecting it to blow you away, I think you're going to be disappointed. I agree with him. So, on a scale to one to five, Vince, I am going to have to give Hotel Transylvania... A three and a half out of five. And I would give Hotel Transylvania 
Not a bad film, not a great film, but I would give it a three out of five. All right, Brandon. So what did you think of this? I give Hotel Transylvania a four and a half. What, is, what did Brian think? Golden Mansion Hotel. <laughs> what? No babies are allowed. Yeah. That's a keeper. We are not done. <laughs> he took the monster man. The monster man. It was a graveyard. He did the monster. It was a graveyard.